well, lots of movement in coaching circles, but let's start with this. I know, I know Mark Stein uh, uh, wrote about this, um, had a conversation yesterday. Apparently, Toronto really likes Jordy Fernandez. Mm. Um, the word that was used uh, to me was Jordy, Jordy's in the lead for this thing, mm. for the Toronto Raptors job. Of all of the jobs that are available right now, I feel like that one makes the most sense for Jordy Fernandez or a potential first-year head coach. Hmm. Uh, I love that job for him because of Masai Ujiri mm -hmm. uh, and how stable that organization is overall. I feel like it's a good – and these don't often come around. I feel like this is a good first-year coach opportunity. And even though I think that there is some, there is some what's going to happen stuff with that roster, mm -hmm. uh, as constructed now, I do think the roster is good. Uh, what they do moving forward after they trade OG to Sacramento, I don't know. We'll find out. So, so OG for Jordy, Georgia. No. I think it's fair. Like if we're if we're if we're gonna if we're gonna do this, I think it's fair. But uh, you're you're start and and I and I and I put that tweet out yesterday that I just and all it said was Toronto seems to really like Jordy Fernandez and man, I don't know if they're called Raptor nation or Toronto Raptors fans. They, North. Yeah. They were in the quote tweets. Like apparently that fan base is really excited at the Did prospect. Drake you? Uh, he called <laughs> Drake. Drake didn't. In fact, Drake was my source. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Drake was the one who I was talking to yesterday. Going to be rubbing Jordy Fernandez. Shoulder. Jordy watch. Oh man, man. Um, but it, 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 it feels like it, 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 again, based on the conversation we had yesterday, based, based on the stuff Mark Stein reported, mm -hmm. it, it not only does it feel like the, the, the Toronto Raptors really like Jordy Fernandez, it feels like that fan base is really into Jordy Fernandez too. Yeah. I mean, it, it would be, it would be a great, great, uh, hire for Toronto, I believe, because I think Jordy Fernandez is going to be a, a excellent head coach. Um, it'd be great for him to get that opportunity. Um, like you said, with a guy like Masai Ujiri to to kind of get the get the get the groceries, as Bill Parcells would say, and put things together. He's got a rookie of the year on the roster and Scotty Barnes. You can Ooh. build with him. Scotty Barnes? You got him. You got Pascal Siakam. You got whatever you're gonna get back from OG and Anopi. Um, because no, I mean, just, we have no idea if OG's going to be traded. <laughs> right, right. Let's just be clear. Fred Van Fleet is a free agent, or are they looking to trade? He's him? a free agent. He's a free agent. He's a free agent. So they have money. I believe he's unrestricted. Yeah, they'll have money to spend. Mm -hmm. Um, so it, it's a it's a good job. Yeah, it's, a, it's absolutely a good job. And then on the flip side, while we don't want Jordy to leave here in Sacramento, and I know Mike loves Jordy, and, and you know wants him on the staff. Mike has also been like, yeah, this is what I've wanted. Yeah. This is what I've, I'm not trying to say anything like he's, he's taking all the credit, but this is what I've groomed him for. Mm -hmm. I believe that he's, this is a guy that can be a head coach in this league Yeah, and it's his time. It's his opportunity. So I, I'm pretty sure maybe it happened a year or two before he thought, but I was pretty sure Mike had always planned for, well, Jordy's going to leave me at some point. Yeah. I mean, Jordy was with Denver for, six years yeah. i think like he i mean he's you know he's you know worked under michael malone uh and now you know the the, the tremendous season that the sacramento kings had and he had under mike brown uh, one thing i always appreciate about about jordy and this is just a little dumb thing that probably only a handful of fans each night saw but every single home game jordy walks his family out mm -hmm. to the court and sits down with them and is his 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 kids and his wife and they you know they sit courtside and and Jordy I think is done with his on court work if if he does any I don't even think he does any on court work with those guys but he 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 comes out there and he sits with them uh, for a pretty lengthy period of time and that's something I've always appreciated uh, about Jordy uh, Jesse says Fred Van Fleet has a twenty two million dollar player option he can pick up this season mm -hmm. so it's really up to Fred Van Fleet what he wants to do. Uh, come yeah. July, I don't know if it's. I think free agency. Can you check on this? Is June, free agency June thirtieth? Um, Van Vliet has June fifteenth to uh, pick up the option. I'll check when free agency starts. I think mm. it starts June thirtieth because what stood out to me was 
June 30th, I think it is. It's June 30th. So June 30th is a Friday. <laughs> and then it heads into a long weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Because Fourth of July is on a Tuesday. Right. right. So yeah. one, two, Are we three. On no. <laughs> Just making sure. No, we're not. <laughs> which was like, so everything could happen. Yo, who gone. planned this? <laughs> everything could happen. Well, look, we're, we're gonna need those first because I think it starts at three or twelve. I can't remember. Hopefully, well, this 12. year started at three because our time. Yeah, because I mm. we had to have the text ready to be to be to be That's right. We, we had to have the text ready uh <laughs> to announce at three um that in 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 near record time yeah uh malik monk had talked to the sacramento kings and agreed to a deal yeah uh yeah. but yeah and and then yeah and then and then everyone's off <laughs> for four days 